Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. I wanted to do a video on my snails that I was talking about. So let me pull this one up here. And I hate pulling them from the glass. I usually don't pull them. I just kind of wiggle them around until they loosen up. And then put them back into the water. Come on, let go. There we go. You don't want to pull them because they could come off their shell. Whoops, almost dropped them. Now this, I hate touching snails. This snail, it's hard to see, but that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. And she's a golden color with black spots. Then I have another one. Let me put my... There. Why is that better looking in the inside the water? Sheesh. Then I have this pretty one here. Ooh, he is strong. He's on there. He or she's on there tight. All right, so... This is what this one looks like. And again, doesn't look all that great until I put them down there. Look how pretty they are. I don't remember the names of this kind of snail. If anybody can leave a comment below and let me know what they are called. I forgot the names of them. These are the type of snails that don't eat plants. So if you have a plant tank, I'd recommend for you to get these kinds and um, they just eat everything around the tank that's decaying but they don't eat the live matter like plants like these things here. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys this quick video on my snails. They're really pretty. They look way better inside the water. Sheesh. Alright. See you guys in the next video. Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Just doing another video on her moving around, so this one is not going to have very much conversation going on between me and the fish tank. As you can hear in the background, I'm watching YouTube videos. Look at her, she's just bent. Too bad I can't catch her laying an egg. She's grabbing with her foot the branches, holding the branch, and she's sticking her sticky eggs onto the plant. It'd be nice if she turned this way and let us see. Kind of like a chicken laying an egg. I wonder what it feels like for an oxalotl to be laying tiny little eggs. They're not really that tiny. I mean, they're probably the size of small little Newt pellets that you feed them, they're about that size. A little bit smaller than that. wonder what it looks like from... Oh wait. What it looks like up here. Not very good. There's the boy. No idea where the girl is at. There she goes again. Moving around. I have noticed that her tail has changed a little bit in color. And I think it has to do with her laying these eggs because it wasn't so pinkish looking before. I wonder if that has anything to do with... I'm sure it does because she was never like that. Ew, I can see her bones in her tail. How weird. What's amazing is an oxalotl could lose their leg, their toes, their gills. They could lose their tail. And no matter... What body part is lost, they can regenerate it and regrow it again. And it'll look like as if she never lost her leg. Or her foot. I mean, her hand. Or her tail. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? I can see an egg come out of her and stick right onto the plant. She kind of slid it off. You guys probably won't be able to see this. 
Okay. Looks like she's going to move on. Now in this tank, uh, it's a 10 gallon aquarium. I don't have any sand in here. I was actually going to go purchase some sand this weekend and stick it in here because I really like the way sand looks. And I will put some sand in here, especially since it'll be brand new, but I guess it's probably okay to not have sand at the same time because what if there's too much bacteria on the sand and, you know, the little eggs get contaminated and you want to probably keep it nice and clean and I hope the eggs do well because I did let this water sit for two days before I stuck them in here but um, two days of her being in here afterwards which is the fourth day is when she's laying these eggs so I guess she really liked her environment because she's never showed any signs of wanting to lay eggs I've stuck some plastic plants in with her and real plants and she was in a plastic tub container and I think she likes this driftwood and this is just a bunch of different types of plants thrown in here that I ordered from eBay I bought from the pet store they could be placed nicely in here but I don't have any sand and I didn't want to do anything else special She is a cutie. She's about, I would say, seven and a half inches long. Um, she's about a year old. Her male is about ten inches, I think, long. And he probably has two more inches to grow in about a year or two. These guys can get about a foot long. Um, there's a breeder in uh, Burien who has a big male and a normal size female. And the male is about exactly 12 inches long and the female is about 8 inches long. But his pair is about 4 years old. These guys just turned a year old. Look at her. She's just walking around figuring out where she can lay her eggs. I noticed that she doesn't lay any of her eggs on anything soft or the driftwood but she does lay her eggs on the plants and I think the reason why is because the plants since they're alive it helps add a little oxygen and it won't um, it'll eventually let the eggs release if they have to be released um, sometimes the wood uh, has bacteria on it and if the eggs were laid on it or fell on it, um, they probably don't hatch or maybe they're not going to continue to grow. So the temperature of the tank actually, um, let me touch the water. I forgot what the temperature is, but for the past two days it was really cold in my house. And it was actually very cold, but it's reading. Actually, I don't know what it's reading. It's reading 67, so I'm wondering if that's helped stimulate her to lay eggs. There's her tail. She just went back there. Here she comes. The movement of the water is, is exactly the same as it would be in the wild. So I think she really likes her setup. It's not too rushing. It's, the water's not rushing like crazy. Because if it does, they don't like it. They get stressed out. And they'll put their gills back all the time. Look at her. She looks like she's smiling. <laughs> They're friendly. They'll come up to your, your finger if you're about to feed them something. I started out with um, five of these guys. I had a blue one. I had a gold one. Um, I had a black one. And then I have this one here. And then I have the original wild colored male, which looks kind of like a leopard color. And now I just have this pair only because it's much easier to keeping a pair, a breeding pair, in a 10 gallon or a 15 gallon. My 55 gallon, um, I'm getting rid of both of them. 
I'm going to start a new 55 gallon tank because I've had the tanks for about 17 years and I feel like if we have an earthquake they might crack and that's 55 gallons each on the second floor of my house so I don't think we need 55 gallons of water to go down into the second part of the house so I need new fish tanks and I've had this fish tank forever I've used it for all kinds of stuff this is actually the tank that I had my button quails in this first batch or the second batch of babies that you guys saw on the video before but um, I bleached it out cleaned it up stuck some water in here did a quick decorate throw some plants in got the filter in and water and now I got my female laying eggs my house is very very um, don't know what the right word to say but anything breeds here <laughs> Well, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Only so much I can record on here. We're down to 9 minutes and 5 seconds. Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. So, in this video, I want to show you how I pull the eggs off. What I do is I go ahead and grab where they're stuck to, and I pull them and drop them into the container that I'm using. And on here, as you can see, there's tons of eggs. So, I just kind of kind of squeeze, pull, and so far I haven't been damaging the plants. And there, that is nice and clean. There's no more um, sticky balls of eggs on there. And so I'm going to keep on grabbing more eggs. Gosh, this is a huge cluster of slime. Wow. This is going to take a little bit more detail, so let me keep pulling these off quickly, keeping them in the water, falling in. She has been working all night long to lay eggs. And wow, this is a big giant ball of slime. Gross. keep working on this it's just like jello and a big ball of slime look at that big ball of slime it's just so gross <laughs> so I'm gonna keep pulling it until I get all the eggs off now the other side I don't know how many eggs she laid. She probably laid maybe around 300 eggs. This is her first time laying eggs. I'm doing this video in such a difficult way that it's going to be hard to record everything that I'm doing. And they're even sticking to your finger. So that's how sticky her paste is. Right. So I have, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want all of the eggs off of my plants. I really don't want them on my live plants. Um, I didn't expect her to lay eggs. So it's kind of a, a shock. And some of these plants are just stuck together because she just put a big blob of jelly everywhere with eggs in them so it made a lot of my other plants stick kind of funny so basically you just want to keep your eggs in a, another container so that way the male and female won't eat their babies as they start to develop and grow and also um, there's a decision you need to make either keeping the eggs in the aquarium and taking out the adults or taking the eggs out and keeping the adults in the aquarium and that's what I want to do I want to keep the adults in the aquarium and take the eggs out so the eggs don't need to be raised any specific way just keep them in a container um, you may need to google the temperature air circulation um, most people have just kept their eggs in a plastic container or Tupperware container and no oxygen, no um, water movement, but do make sure that the water quality 
is nice and oxygenated and and the little babies will do really well. I would suggest putting a little air bubbler in there, keeping the oxygen levels high in the daytime and a little bit low in the evening. So that's all I want to do. So I want to just show you here. That's all the eggs. Um, there's way more in the bottom i got to collect. So I'll do some more updates on the oxalotl eggs. See you guys in the next video.